All right, what's up everybody? Today we're working on a um, Husqvarna 350. It's in really good condition, but one of the problems that we're having, or that, that the only problem that this has is that the chain tensioner here, I don't know if you can see this, but it's, let's see if I can bring it closer. It's actually chipped and it's it's so hard to turn that you can't you can't even turn it even with the screwdriver it just rips it out so we're gonna have to replace it we uh, got one here that's what it looks like that's what we got going on here see the part and we're gonna take that out and then put that in that looks that's actually what it's supposed to look like So, first thing we need to do is we need to take off the side cover, which we've done. Yeah, we've taken care of that. And then the next thing that we've done, so I don't know if you can see this, but we put a rope. We take out the spark plug. We put a rope in the uh, spark plug hole to stop the piston so we can take off this clutch. When, uh, oh, let me take this off. You can't see it in there, but the piston's all the way up. And what I like to do is I like to run the piston down and then have it on its way back up right here. So when that you put the rope in, it's not going to get caught in this exhaust port here. Uh, you don't want that to happen. This happened to me one time and it was uh, it was pretty bad. So uh, luckily it was, a, it was the piston and cylinder is already toast. So anyway, so you just want to make sure that the, uh, the rope doesn't come through there. And so we're going to be taking out the clutch and getting all you got to take out everything just to get to this one piece and and then even then getting to that it's pretty pretty hard but anyway pretty simple off so got a couple tools here i'm going to use i'm going to take a rubber mallet put it right there and then try to knock it off Now, it's that easy for me because I've already taken the clutch off once uh, to do some other stuff. But, just keep hammering it. It's always clockwise, but off. There's your clutch. There's your sprocket. Be careful. There's a needle cage in there. What they call a needle cage. Or, there you go. You can see it in there. Alright, so now you're just left with the oil pump. Yeah. Well, this piece actually goes to the oil pump, but get that off. Got it. Take this part off. Now, we're ready to take this off. Now I like to take a um, <clears throat> smaller screwdriver and just work my way to get this part off. It's, it's, it's kind of difficult because you've got to work your way in here. Like I said, it, it's 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 easier than. Looks here. Let me take this off. All right, so got that part off. Take a pick here. I guess pick it out. There we go.
All right, so I've given it enough taps. Now try it with the screwdriver to make sure that it actually runs. And that's what the other one wasn't doing. It's actually running. So put this back on. And when you this this gets tightened up, it'll also press against there. But kind of just seeing what we got here. It's now going to go counterclockwise. Get tightened back on there. All right. This is the the hardest thing for me is is trying to get this tightened back. Let me uh, take a quick time out and spray this out with an air hose. Just wanted to try to clean that out a little bit and to tighten this up you know i haven't really found it i wish they had husqvarna would have made one for the on as well so you could hammer it on as well but it's not going to go anywhere as long as you have the rope in in there and that's the good thing to test this one more time before i put this yeah it's working great all right so that's all you need you just this will tighten itself uh you might find a couple of times when we first put the, the chain and bar back on, um, your clutch might be a little loose. The chain might get a loose, but you know I haven't really found a way to tighten it. Uh, you could tighten it here, but I just don't really feel comfortable doing it. I'll give it a couple of taps. There we go, we have installed, and then you just, you know, very gently pull this rope back out. And you're ready to go. You can put the chain on, this will, this will work. Uh, do everything you needed to do now. Quick and simple, it gets a lot of parts to be taken off just for one little small part there, but that is replacing the chain tensioner. Uh, hope this helps somebody out.